let's dive right in with these images as our example. To start, click on the menu at the top, then select Settings and choose Edit. From there, adjust the image duration to 1 second, click Save. And then, drag the images onto the timeline. Click on the second image clip, go to the Animation tab. And under the In Animation category, select the Shape to Animation. Adjust the animation duration to 0 0.3 seconds. Next, head to the Effects tab and search for Shape. Drag and drop the shake video effect onto the starting position of the second clip. And adjust the effect duration to match the clip's animation length. At the effect starting position, add a keyframe. And set the strength to 60 and speed to 100. Move the playhead to the effects and position, and set strength to 0 and speed to 0. Back in the effects tab, search for Edge Glow. Drag the effect to the starting position of the second clip, and adjust the effect duration to match the clip's animation length. Add a keyframe at the effect starting position and set glow to 100. Move the playhead to the effects in position and set glow to 0. Return to the effects tab and search for wide angle. Drag the effect to the end of the in animation of the second clip. Adjust the effect duration to match the clip length. Add a keyframe at the effect starting position and set strength to 0. Move the playhead to the effects in position and set strength to 100. Click on the clip at the end of the in animation, add a transform keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the clip and adjust the scale to 150%. Right click on the second clip and select copy attributes. Select all other clips, right click, and choose Paste Attributes. Finally, copy and paste all the effects to the corresponding positions on the other clips. And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.